Hello and welcome to the Slingshot channel. In today's video we're going to be looking at some cheap lures versus some expensive lures right there in the pool. I got a GoPro out there. I've got a tray of lures right here. And I have a bunch of more lures over there but I was going to go get them but it's too far. It's too much work. We're going to chuck these lures into that pool and we're going to compare the action and then we might also check out just some more action of some other lures. I'm too tall for the camera. First pair of lures we're going to be testing is Paul Brown, Fat Boy. Look at that guy. Versus the knockoff Tsunami Big Boy, I think it is called. Very creative name, Tsunami. And first up we're going to do the original Paul Brown lure. Now we're going to tie on the Tsunami Big Boy. Alright, I gotta say, the Big Boy, I actually did like the, uh, the action on it. The Paul Brown, it kind of rolls over big time. And this kind of stays pretty much straight up and down, and I kind of like that. That being said though, this is a proven lure, and it catches a ton of big fish, so maybe it's a good thing. This guy's not nearly as bad as I thought it was gonna be. All right, next up we have the classic Johnson Silver Minnow Spoon, one fourth ounce, and we're gonna compare it to this Gator. Gator Weedless, one fourth ounce spoon. I'm always nervous to try out different spoons because I know these spoons work, but you never know if a slight difference could mean not catching fish. So let's compare them. First up, Johnson Silver Minnow. The Gold Silver Minnow. All right, then here comes the Gator. Gator Spoon, one fourth ounce. First we're gonna do it without the little worm and then we're gonna put the pink worm on. Well, I gotta say, overall, the Silver Minnow looked better. It had a more erratic action. And when you reel this in faster, the Gator, it kind of just spins, which doesn't look too good. But I did find out when I reeled it in slower, it kind of darted side to side, which actually looked really good. So I think I do want to try out this Gator lure on some redfish and just retrieve it super slow. Another cool thing is it has a little cutout there. If it can focus. Cutout. And that's where you can kind of put the grub in there and it holds onto the grub, which is actually very nice because with these spoons, when you put a grub on, it tends to always want to go up, up the hook. All right, next up, we got spinner baits. And of course we have the infamous Walmart $1 spinner bait that everyone, everyone makes videos on, but we're going to do it too because I'm not original. But the first one we're going to use right here is the Strike King Banshee. I think it's called one of my favorite spinner baits right here, just because it comes pre-rigged with a trailer hook, which is really cool and it has a good head design. Next up, the magic, the magical $1 spinnerbait. Let's see how it looks. I mean, there's not much to a spinnerbait, so it should look decent. Hey man, this thing did not look too bad, man. For one dollar, this, this will definitely catch you some fish. The only bad thing, I think it looked pretty good. Even, the, even this weird skirt looked pretty good, I think. We'll see in the later footage, but one thing that was bad is that when you tried to burn it, it kind of wanted to do circles. 
and on the other spinner bait the banshee strike king banshee it stayed true even when burning it so that's one difference all right there's one final spinner bait i want to look at and it is the pepper customs spinner bait and i want to look at this because i do not like the angle of the head if you watch when you watch the footage you're going to see that the angle doesn't it's not in line it kind of swims like that kind of weird it looks weird check it out right here Did you see how the, the head kind of, it's not in line, it looks kind of goofy, but maybe it doesn't really matter. But anyway, tell me guys what you guys like to put on the back of your spinner bait. Do you like using a trailer or do you like a trailer hook or you just use it straight up just like this? Let me know. All right, now we're gonna mix up a little bit. We're going back to salt water. We're gonna try to see some lures under the popping cork. First of all, we're gonna look at DOA shrimp. Classic, classic lure. And then we have the Savage Gear. 3D TPE shrimp looks pretty realistic. I wish I had a voodoo shrimp with me, but I do not. Classic DOA, and in honor of the creator of DOA. We're gonna say this will catch you some nice fash. All right, next up, 3D TPE Savage Gear Shrimp under a popping cork. All right, you guys should know by now that I like doing crazy stuff with my popping corks. And something I heard a while back, I'm not sure if it was Ty Sutherland on 30 Miles Out or if it was just a random fishing show, but they said they like to, using popping cork, with a gold spoon on the bottom, no swivel, and they just retrieve it, and then when it pauses, all that spin in the line will just make it sit there and spin. And they said it was really good for red, so let's check it out underwater. I don't know, looked all right. I would just rather use the normal spoon though. Day two of testing and now we're gonna go into the segment of crazy lures. Let me show you what I got here. Start off with a bang, we got the freaking Spro Frog. Spro Frog, it's a freaking mouse. Now the first ever two part bait I ever bought, it is the XPS, I don't know what it's called. It's like a double bait, I don't know. We'll look what it looks like. First up on the menu, we have the Spro freaking wake bait frog or God, why do I keep saying frog? I guess it looks like a mouse trying to tread water. It even has a little rattle that you can actually hear outside the water. I don't know if I'm ever gonna use this. We'll see if I can catch a fish on it. All right, now we have two piece bait here. The front part has a uh, through line design and then you tie it to this. It's, I think it's a top water. I'm not sure though. Let's see what it looks like. No, that's bizarre. That the, the back part actually sinks and the front part floats. That's all, that's all folks. 